What is up guys, this is iUpdateOS, and today I'm going to tell you guys about the really cool new feature found in iOS 7 called AirDrop. But before I do start talking about that, I would just like to say thank you guys so much because I finally am over 100 subscribers now. I really appreciate each and every one of you that did take the time to click that subscribe button. Thank you so much once again. So AirDrop is this really cool new feature that allows you to share files from iOS device to iOS device wirelessly. Now we actually did see this feature in the Mac introduced in Mountain Lion or Lion, I'm not sure which one, but it was introduced in one of those. So in this video I did just want to show you guys what AirDrop can do and what kinds of files you can move from device to device with AirDrop. So the first thing that you can use, and probably this will be the most used feature with AirDrop when the final release of iOS 7 is released in the fall, is the ability to share photos wirelessly. Now you can always text photos to people, but it takes a while to do that, and this is just really integrated and works out really well with iOS itself. So to share a photo, you will have to launch the Photos app on whatever device you want to share the photo from. And once you have done that, click on the photo that you want to share. In the bottom left hand corner of your screen you will see the familiar iOS 7 share icon. It kind of looks like a box with an arrow going up. You're going to want to click on that and then you will see a lot of options. You can select multiple photos which is the first option you will see. I just want to share this one so I'm just going to make sure that the blue check mark is on the iPhone 5 picture. Then you will see the airdrop below and you're going to want to click on the person's picture of who you want to share it to. I am using my mom's iPad mini in this video so I am just going to click on her profile icon. After that you will see that a dialogue does appear on the iPad mini. It will ask you if you want to accept this photo or if you want to decline it. Clicking accept will immediately download the photo to your device and then launch the photos app. Now if you were trying to share music or apps this will actually not work. You can only share a link to the app on the person's device. Now you do have to keep in mind that this is only a beta so that could change, but for now you can only share links for music and apps. And again it will be the same sharing process. Just click on the share icon, click on the person's profile photo who you would like to send it to, and then again it will launch the dialogue on their device if they would like to accept it or hit the decline button. Of course hitting the accept button on their device will immediately launch the app store or iTunes store and then show whatever app you sent them. And if you want to share a link to a website that you're on on your device that you want to show your friend, you can just follow the same process again. For example, I am going to share iUpdateOS.com, and when you do click accept on the other person's device, it will immediately launch that website. Now I would show you how to share a contact, but I do have some personal information on there that I can't show on camera. So guys, those were most of the features found in AirDrop in iOS 7 Beta 3. Now you must keep in mind once again that lots and lots can change by the final release of iOS 7 in the fall. If you guys have enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you did hit that like button. And if you do have any questions about the feature of AirDrop in iOS 7, make sure you do leave your questions down in the comments section and I will try to answer them the best I can. Also make sure you do follow us on Facebook and Twitter to make sure you get the latest updates of when videos are released. And if you are interested in more iOS 7 content, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button because I will be posting a lot more in the coming weeks. Thanks guys and I'll see you in my next video.